We begin with breaking news. For the first time, we're seeing Sandra Bland inside the Texas jail where she was found dead on July 13th. In the video, you can see Bland being brought in, booked, fingerprinted, and photographed. Good afternoon. I'm Kate Sullivan. Rob is off today. CBS 2's Mai Martinez joins us live from the newsroom with more on the video that was released just a short time ago. Mai. Well, Kate, the video was released in part to address theories about Bland's death. One in particular, that she was dead when her mugshot was taken. Authorities in Texas say the conspiracy theories have led to death threats against county personnel and threats against facilities, including the jail where Bland died. Sandra Bland was alive and well during her time you know, in, in the Waller County Jail up until Monday morning. And Waller County Judge Trey Duhon hopes releasing hours of jail surveillance video will prove that to anyone who ever doubted it. You've got people putting information out there that is trying to convince people that she was murdered and deceased before she came to the Waller County Jail. In the video, we see Bland's arrival at the jail on July 10th and different moments from throughout her three days there, including Bland going into a bathroom to change out of her clothes into a jail jumpsuit. Again, on social media, there's been some very crazy speculation that Waller County Jail, all inmate photos are taken in street clothes and then and, and such. And so it was unusual for her mugshot to be taken in the orange jumpsuit. That is incorrect. You can then clearly see Bland walking around the booking desk to have her mugshot taken. She's been sleeping in the holding cell. And this is where the infamous mugshot is taken against the wall. Bland is photographed first facing forward, then to each side. And again, there's been stuff put out on social media that these photographs were taken intentionally dark to hide the fact that she was deceased. As you can see, that's not the case. As for why the video wasn't released earlier, Judge Duhon says authorities originally thought they couldn't get clips from the video and found out just last night that they could. Live in the newsroom, Mai Martinez, CBS2 News. Kate? All right, thank you, Mai.